Hello and welcome to this short video where I will show you how you install .NET 8. So as you can see now, when I try to create a new Blazor server application, I have the frameworks .NET 6 and .NET 7 installed. And simply what we want to do is to go and install .NET 8. And right now it's only in preview, but maybe when you see this video, there will also be a normal version of .NET 8. So first of all, let's go to the browser and just type .NET 8 inside Google. And no worry if you cannot find this, I will go and put the link in the description. So I will go to this download.NET 8. And as you can see in here, the newest version is the 8.0.0 preview.5. And that's because it is in preview right now, but it should be released later this year. So I think for the most users that have Windows just like me, that we are going to use the X64 version and not the ARM64, but the X64. If you have a processor that is actually able to run this ARM64, and if you know if it's that version that you have to, but I will go and download the X64 version. So I'll just make it download. At the moment, the .NET 8 SDK is 209 megabyte. So now that we have downloaded, we can go and open the file. And when we get the installation window here, we just want to say install and say yes. And now you can see that the installation was successful. So it's pretty simple to install the .NET 8 framework. You just need to know which package that you have to install. So let's close this window and let's try to close this window also. So you should believe that it will actually work right now. But if I go and open Visual Studio 2022 again, and I say create a new project and creating a Blazor server app and just say next, we can actually see that the .NET 8 is not showing up here. And that's because if we go back to the page here, you can see that Visual Studio 2022 need to be at least this version. And if we just go and open Visual Studio again, we can actually go in and check what version that we have right now. So if you just click on this continue without code, then we can go up in the help tab and say about Microsoft Visual Studio, because in here you can see I have the version 17.5 and it should be 17.7 at least. So I do actually also need to go and update my Visual Studio. And normally to update Visual Studio, we could go to help and say check for updates. But as you can see, the newest version will be 17.6. And the reason that it's not 17.7 .7 is that if we go back, we can also see that this is a preview. So it's officially not released yet. So I will also go and put a link to the download of the Visual Studio 2022 where we have at least this version so to actually get this version of visual studio we can just go and copy the visual studio 2022 version 17.7 .7. and again if we go to google just paste it in and in this case we have this visual studio where we have the correct version number and if i just scroll a bit down you can see we can go and download the visual studio 2022 preview so from in here again click download preview and now we have to choose which version that we want to use so in this case i just want to stick to the community edition which is the free version or the free edition of visual studio so i'll just go and say download preview and now we can see that we're going to download the installer here so let's click on that one and say yes and we will say continue and just let this run so now you can see we actually get this place where we can go and install the workloads for our Whistle Studio 2022. And you can also see up here we are having the preview edition and the 17.7 .7 version. So we can just go and say we want to install the ASP net and the web development workload and just to begin with i think that's okay so let's go and install this you can see this require seven gig of space on my pc so i'll just go and say install and again you will just go and let this do its thing so now that it's installed it wants us to sign in but we could just go and say skip this for now you can also just go and sign in if you have an account and then we have to choose a theme i'll just go with the dark theme say start visual studio and now you can see we do have the latest version of visual studio installed but of course it's only the preview version as you can see up here it says pre it's very small but it says pie at the logo so what we can do now is go to the file and say new and then say project. So we're going to choose a Blazor server app again and say next. And it doesn't matter what we call it, just say next. And now we do actually have the 
.NET 8 framework installed here. And you can see it's still the preview. But of course, when you see this video, it might just be a new long-term supported version. So let's go and say create to see if it works. And as we can see, it set up the project perfectly. So what we can do is just to go and test the application. And now we can see that it is actually running and it's working. So that's basically how you install .NET 8. And of course, one of the most important thing is also to go and update Visual Studio so that that is compatible with the .NET 8 version. But that will be it for this video. So just go and have a nice day. Bye.